One of the more significant features of these calculators is the ability to program. To enter a program and to be able to execute it whenever you want, have that saved in memory, is just, it's hard to describe just how useful that is if you've never used it. On the 32S2, you're going to hit the shift key here and go to program. Now I can scroll through here. I don't actually have any lines in my program yet. And I could enter in a program here, but what I'm, what I'm going to do is add a label first. So I'm going to add a label. This is line one in my program, and I'm going to label it A. And you'll notice that it's switched to A01. So all the lines following this will turn into A lines, and this is my A program. So I'm going to write a program that does what we have uh, described here. Very simple program but I'm going to take what's in the X register, I'm going to square it, I'm going to multiply it by pi, and have it output the answer so that I can very quickly find the area of a circle just by executing that program that I've written. So I've already got a value in the X register when I execute this program, so I'm going to square it. Then I'm going to put pi into the register. The programming is all done with RPN, reverse Polish notation. And then I'm going to multiply those two values together. So I just did this calculation here, but I did it in a program. And then I'm going to hit the return. Let's see, where is return? Oh, it's right here next to label return. So that brings me back up to the, the top of the program. All right, so now let's test it out. So for a radius of 2, I'm going to execute. Which program do I want to execute? I want to execute the A program. It runs and it gives me an answer of 12.56. I execute 5. That gives me an answer of 78. Point five four, which is my area for a circle of radius 5. Now, of course, this is a very basic program. There's all sorts of different things you can do. You can test the relationship between x and y in the registers, x related to 0. You can set flags, remove flags, test for conditions. You can have loops, that sort of thing. Um, there's just not enough time to demonstrate all of that on a video. If you really want to dig into it, the best way to do it is to find a program that you want to enter, or find a program online that does something that you want it to do, and start entering it and learn it step by step. The, the possibilities are endless. It's just, yeah, you're almost unlimited uh, by what you can program if you really set yourself to it.